The Strolls for Wellbeing program started as a pilot in the autumn of 2014. It is a no barrier program, meaning that it's free of charge for participants, um, and participants receive a, a free guidebook. They participate in facilitated group discussions, and thus far, um, all of this has been possible through generous community donations. Nature can do without man, but man can't do without nature. I really believe that's the heart of what's here. The power of nature has always been here. Um, it has always been able to affect people in deeply personal ways, but this program really puts a structure behind it and a support system behind it um, so that people from all walks of life can benefit from the restorative power of nature. People have said, you know, I came here, I was angry, I was, the universe was against me, you know, I was having these problems, and by the end, I'm, the problems seem minimized and I feel hopeful anyone with whatever issues they have in their lives, or even if they have no issues, would benefit by coming and spending time here. I think in a way I've given myself permission to a goal in my life that's just for me, that might be something for friends, might be something for family, and it might also just be something for myself. Having the joy of discovering that this stroll for wellness has given me, to connect with that is truly an amazing experience. I'm coming off of two years since my husband Abner passed away and I was literally wallowing, wallowing in grief and I couldn't get out from under the bed. I was not engaging with my family or with my friends or I would go to the post office with a list of things to do and come straight back home and scratch all of the list off and tell myself I'll do it another time. Now I can make the list and move through, I guess, the social structure of life. And it, it's amazing to me. It's, I'm blossoming again.